Hey everybody, it's Sneaky Narcotic, back at it again with another YouTube video. Um, today, it's, it's just been so long since I've uh, done any drafts. So, uh, you know, I uh, took some time last night, went ahead and drafted it out. Show you all a little bit of that. Uh, we're going, it's, it's an Ixalan draft, so I got, uh, I forget what the name of the packs are. Uh, Explorers of Ixalan, I think, is the green pack. Rival of Ixalan is the yellow pack. So I got two Explorers and one Rival uh, to choose from. But this is basically what my deck looks like. I um, I, I chose to go the Dinosaur route. I uh, It's been so long since I've actually played uh, Ixalan or dry, even tried a... Uh, a uh, dinosaur standard or, or yeah dinosaur standard deck um, that I really really don't didn't know exactly what was strong and what wasn't strong but I put some good cards in here I believe I uh, I have a lot of dinosaurs I have Knight of the Stampede which is gonna help me cast my dinosaurs and then I have a couple of these mana dudes that uh, I'm looking forward to seeing um, See, so yeah, I put together a 40 card deck. It's Naya colors, of course, because Naya dinosaurs. Um, and yeah, I think I think it'll work. Let's just let's go ahead and play one out. I wanted to play one out last night, uh, just to see if it was worth making the video, but I think it'll be fine. You know, I didn't get a chance to last night. I I uh, had to do a bunch of chores around the house. My wife's going out of town this weekend, and I, uh, I'm going to be taking care of the responsibilities on the home front, if you know what I mean. So, um, just heads up, I'm, I'm, I know my recording schedule has been a little screwed this week, and I apologize. I'm still working on it. I will probably be back up next week, and all my recordings will be here, you know. In fact, let me just double check I'm actually recording, uh, right now. Task Manager... As far as keeping this hand, uh, we're going to hope that we get some white, I believe. I believe it's fine. Uh, that being said, I'm going to mulligan. Sure, this is way worse, but sure. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to need some white mana. Uh, can you put some white mana in my deck? That'd be great. Nope. Right. I wonder if I actually have planes in this deck. If I do, that's gonna, gonna really change things up here. Nope. Well, we have to advance the board state, so yep. Hmm. Do this, uh, reveal a dino, submit, y you gonna let me do it? You gonna counter it with black and white out on the board? Okay, so yes, I did have planes. I have more planes than I have mountains, <laughs> so I don't understand. But all right, there we go. We revealed the uh, Snubhorn Sentry, which we'll probably use later. Right now, we need to get this looming guy uh, out there, so that way we can not take it so much dang damage. Uh, let's think. I guess let's take Looming Artisaur and put it out there. The only problem about Looming Artisaur is that it has no front end. None whatsoever. More than Snubhorn though. At least until City's Blessing is achieved. Sh 
Sure, of course. Why don't you go grab yourself two legions? See if you can go ahead and get them out on the board there, sir. Just remember, the longer we play out this game, the more my deck looks better. Alright, so we do block one. Block, block. Alright. So we're going to get... Driver of the Mighty out. We're going to let him survive. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is 9. If everything survives, we'll have Snubhorn. Or not Sn I mean, we could have Snubhorn, but I'm, I guess I'm going to go for Trap Jaw Tyrant. Uh, yeah, no attacks. No reason to attack. We're just doing fine where we are right now. So, um, while, while I was playing draft today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the speculation for War of the Spark. Oh, great. A flying T5. Well, our one weakness. Um... Trap Jaw Tyrant. Tyrant. No attacks. So, um, here's the speculation that I've heard so far about uh, War of the Spark. Either way, it's going to be awesome. What? Ah, uh, you suck. You suck so hard. I don't even know if you know how hard you suck right now. Ha! Well, it doesn't really matter because you got your legions already. Um, so we'll take this. We'll take this. And then we'll put the snub horn out. And we're going to start swinging next turn. Um, anyway, so going back to War of the Spark. Uh, there's a whole thought process that there is going to be a crap ton. Like, go look at the teaser trailer, see if you can count them. Crap ton. Uh, <laughs> Planeswalkers on Ravnica uh, during War of the Spark. Now, the real question that people were having about War of the Spark is uh, whether they're going to actually print all these Planeswalkers. And here's my thought process around it. Uh, we're going to swing out this way. So, my thought process around it is there. there's two different ways they could do it. One... Uh, and this is this is one of the speculation videos. I can't take full credit for this idea. Uh, one way they could do it. Oh wow! What the heck? One way they could do it is that they have uh, the planeswalkers uh, get de-sparked by nickel bullets. That's one way it happens. According to the speculation video I'll watch, uh, Nickel Bolas would use the Immortal Sun to de-spark the Planeswalkers, making them legendary creatures for the rest of the, uh, for now, pretty much. And so they would be printed as legendary creatures in the set. Um, you're killing me, Smalls. You're absolutely killing me. No tax. So uh, that's one way of looking at it. Another way is that they would have some semblance of art. Uh, maybe a spell, maybe a legendary creature background. That Okay, well we can see it out. That would have them in there, uh, in there just to let you know, hey, this non-really important uh, planeswalkers on Ravnica, for instance, like Hawatli. Hawatli wouldn't be necessarily... Uh, crucial to the story of War of the Spark and so they would have her in the background of whatever you know a, an instant a sorcery a, whatever um, one I mean very wizard like I imagine something I came up with is they have one uh, one card and uh, 
that one card covers all the creatures. So for or all the planeswalkers, for instance, if they had a card that um, the card, let's call it something like call uh, call of the heroes, and it had on there an emblem for each one of the heroes or whatever in the art, and then that way they can be represented all in one card, and that's that's something I feel wizards would do to be honest. Uh, just to not have to totally devalue it by, like, printing all these Planeswalkers. Now, granted, we have not had a meta that's truly ruled by Planeswalkers, uh, at least in my time of playing Magic the Gathering. Um, i sure you can say Teferi ruled the meta, quote-unquote, but um, really Teferi didn't rule the meta. Uh, really, the control aspect of Teferi ruled the meta, <laughs> but... Um, as as far as like an actual super friends competitive deck that would be so cool so interesting to see uh that i would i would almost i would almost pay wizards to make that set you know uh i'd really enjoy seeing something like that but um, let me know what you guys think about War of the Spark in the comment section below. I will be doing spoiler season again, of course. Um, I love spoiler season. It is my crack. Me and my buddy just sit. Uh, I sit in my truck all day instead of doing my actual job. And think of uh, ways to break break standard with cards that they put out that day. That's That's my whole spoiler season. <laughs> hey, this card looks awesome. Hey, this card looks awesome. I remember the day that I saw Mirror Marsh, and I had to sit there and read it like five times to be like, What the hell is this? This is crazy. Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> my exact words. And then my buddy uh, Blackout, a.k.a. Zach Grubbs, uh, was like, Yeah, I don't know exactly how to handle that card. <laughs> So I imagine if he had like a moment of craving or a moment of uh, triumph, he would have played it by now. I imagine, right? Granted, he's playing white and black dinosaurs? Well, there's a vampire. Maybe that dinosaur's just support. I don't know. Could be. It could be, could be. Trap Jaw Tyrant, gonna be a very good card to see uh, in play here. We'll play out the Overgrown Arashaw and the Snubhorn Sentry. Should give us, yeah, the City's Blessing. Allow us to attack, attack, and that's two attacks. That's fine. Um,. That's totally fine. That's that's totally fine. You you'll lose your other creature to exile. No wait, no, I'm being stupid. Uh because the last part says yeah, until Trapjaw leaves the battlefield. So I guess he did have a moment of uh triumph, he was just holding on for a good minute. Gotta be honest, we got some very valued cards, like for instance uh, interest about for the target vampire you control gets plus one plus one until, yeah, see, true or Sukatli honor guard just, just wrecking right there. Um, yeah, shining aerosaur will do. Snap, uh, snapping cell back. So this is what we needed. Our, uh, last game was just cards that had, aren't necessarily going to. You know, not land, so we didn't need to flood out the last three or four turns we had. Do need to watch out in case, like, Settle the Wreckage shows up, maybe. Uh, possibly. I want to do that one instead of the other one. Even though the other one has Menace, because it's a crappier blocker. I can attack in with the Knight of the Stampede. Yeah. Okay. He he saw Delphi next turn. I 
I was really happy with this draft. That's uh, that's all I'll say about that, because I got a couple of the uh, rares that I'm missing, uh, like Trap Jaw. Not that I would necessarily use Trap Jaw. Uh, like, oh excuse me, <sighs> like uh, Takatli Honor Guard cards that I haven't had. Um. We mulligan this, right? Surely, surely we mulligan this. That's fine. That's one of every color plus yes. Yes, yes. Sure. So, at Zokincia. Boop. And boop. Forerunner of the Coalition. Wait a second. Is he playing three color deck too? He's playing Grixis Pirates, I guess. Yeah, he's playing Grixis Pirates. So let him know that we are playing some Naya dinosaurs. I don't remember the control cards from Ixlon. Yeah, okay, so he bombarded me. I was going to say, I just don't remember him right now. Um, we don't have what we need. Plus. Okay, go ahead. Kind of miss the raid ability. That's pretty cool. The raid ability to just pass. There you go. Alright, bring out the cell back. Alright, good thing we didn't throw out the trap jaw just yet. I think that should be the rest of his control. Uh, we'll take away aggression. Or whatever. So, trap jaw tyrant. Let's see what happens here. He can attack forward if he wants right now. By all means. Ah, great. Well, this isn't what we wanted. All this land. How much land do I actually have in this deck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You attack out, I'm pretty sure you got it, yeah. Concede. I need to go double check my land count. I, uh, Because I do believe that we're carrying too many lands. I think anyways. Let me double check. So 12 plus 5. Nope, we're carrying just enough lands. We're just not getting any of our... Um, the dinosaurs huh all right we'll play one more uh which like i said today we're just really playing to get the draft in i um wanted to play draft because i haven't played draft especially exelon draft in like ever i want to say at least it feels like forever hmm Feel like I should put the gates to rest, um, at least for a minute. 
So that's what I did. I put the gates to rest. All right, we'll keep this. Uh, let's read this one. You may. So that's a good card for when we get enraged enabled. So Drover of the Might. Mighty. Playing us white black so far. Put a Tuscan Seer out. Adsokan Seer. Yes. Exactly how I said the first time. Okay. Well, now we put out two dinosaurs. One, two, and swing at you for a little bit. There we go. I actually meant to keep this one back. Okay, you're about to get hit by like a crap ton. I want you to know. Uh, yeah, you're you're about to get hit for crap ton. Okay, well I guess he was missing a color. Maybe he was going the same way, Grixis control kind of. And he just didn't get it. Claim prize, keep going. But going back to the whole thing about them, uh, real quick, I'm sorry. I just I keep thinking about my speculation um, or the speculation video I should say that I watched um, when I was watching that video they were talking about uh, it would make sense because it would go for for the planeswalkers to get desparked become legendary creatures again um, maybe lose a rarity surprisingly enough um, it would make sense because if you look back the last set that will the first set to rotate um, and of course I know there's gonna be more than one set that rotates at the same time but the first set would be oh wait excuse me not first set one of the sets rotating would be Dominaria and they talked about how then it would make some of the cards in Dominaria more relevant because they would be printed around uh, oh hey cool um, then they would be printed around around uh, legendaries and, and the whole legendary synergy that Dominaria had but felt like it was too small so I could see it I could see it with a heartbeat I'll take that block all day, every day. Bull lock. There we go. And then we will... I guess do one of these numbers here. That'd be right, right? No, 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 no. I guess, I guess we do this. See torn ceratop, ceratops. Really, we kind of want the looming uh, altasaur. 
just to keep as a blocker, a consistent blocker, and nothing but a blocker. If only we would have got, I, I still haven't seen anybody that got a carnage start. So far he's playing Rakdos, I still think it's just, uh, Grixis Pirates. Probably. It's probably what's in his hand right now is blue. So, yeah. We're going to do it like that. We even double block to give him the option. Right. Nah, there's no point. Yeah, I guess there's a semi point. There's a semi point. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Alrighty then. What in fact are you playing over there? Cool. So... Let's attack. See what he does. There we go. Looming Altusser. Altusser. I mean, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna block it I don't care what do you have go ahead show me that's what I thought you bluffed your butt freak out of here dude all right so See that, and I will raise you this. That's an instant, so we'll pass turn. No reason to let him get what he wants. No reason at all. Okay. Thanks, boss. Ah, so too much red mana. Too much red mana. Need some double white, double green. I mean, we're going to keep blocking it no matter how you do it. We will keep blocking it. Okay. That's fine. Made you waste a card, so it's fine by me. This is fine, although. No. Pass turn.
Okay, so now we're kind of hoping for a land. I'd like to be able to do the Claire's Tatchling, or Cherish Tatchling, and get the Trapjaw Tyrant to hit the, uh, this one. Or not. We could always not. That's fine. So, are you smoking crack? That's definitely not what I want. Let's do it like this. Oh, and when I put this cherished hashling out, it'll be fine. Cherished hatchling. And pass the turn. We don't want. We don't want to mess with our only card uh, enabling mana right now. Oh, that that well. That sucks. What you gonna do now? Come on, dude. We're having a nice little game. What happened? Okay. That's fine. We're going to block there and just take the rest. Yeah, that's fine. All right, white inducing mana, let's go. And now we swing the snub horn. Yes. In turn. Pass. Pass the blocks. Uh, I'm going to block here times two. Yeah, good game, I guess. Ah, Should have just blocked there. It would have been fine. Whatever. I almost had it under lock. Anyways, guys, let's uh let's see what we get in our little pack over here. Hopefully something neat. Um, Ruin Raider. At the beginning of your own step, if you attack with a creature this turn, reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to that card's converted mana cost. Well, that's not great. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. It'd mean a lot to me. Um, and another news, uh, this is Sneaky Narcotic signing off.